Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about bookmarks in the VBA editor and how to quickly jump between multiple locations while you're working on your database. This is a developer level video for all my VBA peeps. Yeah, I said peeps. I'm cool with the lingo. I'm down with it. <laughs> If you've never done any VBA programming before and you want to learn, go watch this video first, then come on back. So yesterday's video, when I did the uh, VBA editor colors, how to customize your colors, right? We did this yesterday. I'll put a link to this one down below. Uh, so much easier on the eyes, by the way. Uh, it brought up a memory of a tool that I used to use years ago. And by years, I'm talking a long time ago. That for some reason or another, I just kind of stopped using it. But it's very handy. Uh, it's called bookmarks, and you can see them if you go into the tools options like we did yesterday on the editor format. There's one of these things way down here called bookmark text. And then yesterday I just kind of said I got another video on this coming up. Well, this is that video. Uh, what a bookmark is, is, what it is, is, uh, what bookmarks are, are a way, <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Uh, it's a way to quickly jump between different locations in your code. If you ever had a situation where, let's say you're working on a form, all right, let's say you're working on your main menu form, all right, you got, you know, right here, you're doing something, and, okay, you got other code that's related to this, maybe a, a global module function, right, in your global mod, all right, and you got to quickly jump, and you, you're going back and forth between these, you got to jump between them left and right. Well, it's sometimes hard to, like, okay, let's go back here and then find where we were in this code, and then, okay, we got to go back here and then find where we were in here, and these are short little tiny modules, this is a and the bad example for this, but I've got modules that, you know, have thousands of lines of code in them. So that's what bookmarks are. They're really easy to use. They're really easy to set up. Uh, first thing is in the VBA editor, if you don't have this toolbar on, which is the edit toolbar. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that on. So on any of these toolbars, right click and pick edit. It's not normally on by default. Here it is. And if it's if it comes in like over here, right, just grab that little handle right there and click and you can drag it down here. I like to keep it right there or you can make it floating if you want. But I like my toolbars docked usually. Okay, the bookmark stuff is right here. All right, it's not even on these menus up here that I can find. Uh, I don't see bookmarks anywhere up here. Let's see. No, no, I looked before. I did not see them. But anyways, so you got to use them off this menu, and they don't even have shortcut keys associated with them. So that's a note to the access team. Add some shortcuts to these. It would be really nice to be able to hit like shift whatever, control shift to jump between these two. But anyways, first you set your bookmarks. Let's say we're working with the sleep sec function. All right, click anywhere on this line and hit that guy. And you see the little blue doohickey there over in the margin. Okay, so we got that. Let's go over to the customer form. Let's say we're also working with this guy. Okay, we're going to set a bookmark there. So now I got two bookmarks set. All right, now you want to jump between them. Just use these little arrows right here. Click. All right, next bookmark, next bookmark. See? I can just quickly jump between those. And you can set a bunch of them up if you want to. Let's say you're also working with uh, the contact form. No, there's nothing in there. Customer list. Okay. Let's say we're working with uh, this guy. Set a bookmark. And now you got three of them you can cycle between. See? That's all. It's very simple. It's one of those features. Like I said, I used to use this way back in the day, but I, I really haven't touched this feature in at least 10 years. Now, if you want to get rid of a bookmark, just toggle it again with this guy. Toggle. This toggles it on and off. Okay. So we'll turn that one off. Let's go to the next one. Uh, if you got a bunch of bookmarks set up and you want to clear all of them, that's this guy. It says clear all bookmarks. If you click on that one, they all go bye-bye. Okay. And that's it. That's pretty much how bookmarks work. It's one of those tools that uh, it, you don't realize how helpful it is until you, you know it and then you use it for a little bit and then you realize it's helpful. And then like me, you forget about it and you stop using it for a while and then you're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be your tech help video for today, Friday. Have a good weekend, everybody. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video.
to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. 
In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.